Hello everyone, Carmine Corridor of Underdog Computer and Network Support here again with another video blog. This time we are discussing managed services, what it is and what it isn't. So let's dive in. The term managed services is one of those overused techie terms that most IT companies are pushing these days. But before I dive into that, let me explain what IT is for those that do not understand the acronym. IT simply means information technology. It is similar to computer support, tech support, computer guys, computer people. Basically, a computer company that does IT supports everything computer related. Some may not do repairs while others still do. Underdog Computer Network, it's network and Support does. Back to my main point. Managed services differs from computer support firms. Uh, it depends on who you talk to. but. The general consensus is it's a set monthly fee, usually based on the amount of devices or computers that a company has, and it includes certain features like remote monitoring, patch management, or antivirus. And what usually varies is the added support, like unlimited phone support, unlimited remote support, unlimited and limited on-site support. To put in a much simpler term, Managed services is a subscription service for technical support. As a society, we have been trending to subscription-based ways of paying for conveniences and big-ticket items. So when you first think of subscriptions, you think of newspapers and magazines. Later, evolving to streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Pandora, software manufacturers like Microsoft or Google implemented subscription services for email packages. So instead of buying an expensive email server, software, and consultation services, it allowed the smaller companies that didn't have the money to invest in the infrastructure. And Microsoft took it up a notch and expanded that services to off Office Suite. So instead of plunking down $300, $400 every few years, now you just pay $11 a month. The advantage is as soon as a new version comes out, you receive it. The advantage for Microsoft is that they receive a steadier stream of income. So you're asking, what does it have to do with managed services? Well, computer support companies started offering managed service contracts, which allowed a piece of software to live on your computer, provide some automated remediation services, and simple computer cleaning tools, um, manage patches, software updates, and manage antivirus. Bundled with that, a familiarity with your business and the ability to predict or prevent problems by providing proactive support. Added to that some kind of tangible technical support service, the benefit to the client was a budget-friendly, predictable expenses. The benefit to the managed IT provider is a predictable income. Remember I said the benefit of the managed services for the client is to prevent problems and being proactive, essentially fixing issues or alerting the customer of issues before they become a bigger problem. Unfortunately, many IT service providers do not do this. Many managed IT providers still react in firefighting mode, and by that, I mean addressing an issue only once it has become a problem, which defeats the purpose. Remember, I also said another benefit is patch management. So Microsoft releases patches every Tuesday for every supported operating system, as well as every software vendor releases updates uh, as they are needed and hardware vendors release firmware, which is software for your hardware. Um, patch management allows managed IT companies to release the approved patches to your computer instead of everything that comes out. In other words, it's not something that can be automated. If it were, your computer already does that. Someone has to look at the patches being released, determine their safeness before releasing it to you. Unfortunately, again, many IT companies do not do this. And I would assume it's the same idea. They have the best intention. Some IT providers will promise managed antivirus as part of their initial offering. But from my experience, I've seen this not distributed as promise. In other words, you're under the assumption that you are protected by viruses, malware. Your computers are up to date with, with uh, software updates. Or your computer is at least being looked at to make sure not any big issues are happening. So why am I telling you this? Is managed service a scam? Is it not a good thing? 
Is it right for my company? Who can I trust? Underdog Computer and Network Support is that type of company. Our goal is to grow slowly, so we are careful when taking on new clients. We take the time to understand your needs. Managed services is not a good fit for every business. And if not, we're upfront about that too. Maybe you're an every once in a while need for IT services, and that's okay, we could still support you. Maybe a retainer contract, or you just pay by the hour. Whatever works for you. So how do you know? Well, give us a call today, 570-634-5350. Leave a message on one of our social media platforms. Right now, we're offering a free, no strings attached assessment on your network. So if you're a managed service client of one of our competitors, or you're concerned, or you don't understand your bill, give me a call. I'll be happy to stop down and give you some good old free advice. I'm Carmine Corridor, President, Underdog Computer and Network Support. Never fear, we fix IT here.